با درود مجدد خدمت دانشجویان محترم مستر تیچر محمد مهرپوی هستم مدرس این دوره و با قسمت دوم از درس سه در خدمتون هستم یونیت 3 lesson B natural wonders In the previous lesson we talked about human wonders and now we're going to talk about natural wonders right In, in building vocabulary and grammar parts, uh, I'm going to tell you the meaning of these vocabularies here. The first one is archipelago, archipelago, which means a group of small islands, right? A group of small islands. Next one is coast, which means uh, the area where land meets uh, the sea. Next one is desert. Desert, a large area of land where it is always dry, very dry, and there's a lot of sand, right? Next one is glacier. Glacier, which means a large mass of ice which moves slowly down a mountain valley right next one is island you know the meaning of island lake mountain ocean rainforest rainforest which is a uh, which is a tropical forest with tall trees that are very very close together and uh, growing in 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 an area where it rains a lot. The next one is reef. Reef, a line of sharp rocks, often made of coral, right? River, and also the next one, the last one, which is volcano. So in the previous lesson, we had this. Uh, and volcano is a mountain with a large hole at the top and uh, through which lava is sometimes forced out. This is this one. This picture shows a volcano. All right. Let's complete the facts below with seven of the natural features in the box. And which facts did you know? The first one. The Nile River, uh, the Nile or Nile River, is the longest river in Africa. It's six thousand six hundred ninety-five kilometers long. Next one is uh, the highest in the world is Mount Everest in Asia. Okay, it says Mount means mountain, right? mountain how high is it it's 8850 meters high the largest is the pacific so what is this guys you can see from the picture very good this is an ocean ocean the largest ocean in the pacific it covers one third of the earth very big one third the deepest part is about 11,000 meters deep. And how big is the largest? What is this picture? Rainforest. Very good. It's a rainforest. How big is the largest rainforest? The Amazon in South America covers about 4 million square kilometers. This picture shows a desert. Very good. The largest hot desert is Sahara in Africa. How large is it? It's about 9.1 million square kilometers. And as I told you before, this is a volcano. The most active volcano is probably, uh, I don't know the name, maybe it's Klawa on the, of Hawaii. So what is Hawaii? Island. On the island of Hawaii, 
It has been active since 1983 and it still erupts every day. Erupts when lava is forced out, we call it erupts. Yeah, lava goes out. Erupts every day. Which facts you didn't know and which facts you knew already? For example, I knew the Nile is the longest river in Africa. I knew the highest mountain is the world, uh, in the world is Everest. And I knew about uh, Sahara. And, but I didn't know about the, this volcano or uh, the rainforest, the biggest rainforest, the largest, actually, sorry, largest rainforest and also the ocean. I should have known about this, but unfortunately I didn't know. Now let's see uh, what natural features are in your country. Features, natural features. Complete the chart, <clears throat> then compare with a partner. So, the things we were talking about are called natural features. Like archipelago, coast, uh, desert, glacier, island, lake, mountain, ocean, rainforest, reef, river, and volcano. Let's see what natural features are in your country. For example, we can say that features that we have uh, is like beaches and, uh, for example, lake. And features we don't have are like uh, desert and active volcano. You can add more to features we don't have and features we have. Right? And you can use this uh, example like we have a lot of great beaches. They're some of the best in the world. You can talk about features we have in Iran and features we don't have. Right? And let's do part C. Can you complete the questions and answers? For example, how is the Nile River? So, we had it before. We talked about, uh, when you're talking about a river, we say how long, right? How, Kong, no, how long? How long is the Nile River? And number two, high is Mount, uh, Mount Everest. So we say how, how high, right? This is how we can ask about uh, natural features. So, how long is the Nile River? It's 6,695 kilometers. Very good, long. And when you're talking about how high is a mountain, we say it's 8,850 meters high. Sorry, high. Let's go to grammar to see how we can ask questions like this and how we can answer questions with how plus adjective so you can add the adjective to how to form a question like how high how long how wide how deep how large and how hot so in the answer of how high you have to add high at the end of your answer like how high is the mount everest it's eight 8,850 meters high. How long? So you bring long at the end. How long is the Nile River? It's 6,695 kilometers long. How wide? You bring wide again. Is the Grand Canyon? It's about 29 kilometers wide. And how deep? You bring deep at the end. How deep is the Pacific Ocean? It's about 11,000 meters deep 11,000 meters deep oh my god how large is the Sahara Desert so when you're talking about large you have to bring uh, square kilometers or square miles how large is the Sahara Desert so it's 9.1 million square kilometers square kilometers and when you're asking about the temperature so you bring Celsius or Fahrenheit, 
right? How hot does it get in Death Valley? It can reach 48 degrees Celsius. And some measurements can be followed by an adjective. So, high, tall, long, wide, deep. For example, how tall is Milot Tower? How tall is Milot Tower? We had high, we had long, wide, deep, but not tall. So, you can ask questions like this. How tall is Milot Tower? Now let's write two questions about each of the natural features below. The first one is the longest river in Canada. So the first answer is the Mackenzie River, so we need a name. And 4,241 kilometers, so we're asking about how long is it. So the first one starts with what's. What's the longest river in Canada? It's the Mackenzie River. And the next question is how uh, long? How long is the Mackenzie River? It's 4,241 kilometers long at the end, right? The next one, the highest mountain in South America, Mount Aconcagua, which is the name, and 6,962 meters we're asking how high is it it's a mountain right so what is the highest mountain in south america it's mount aconcagua and uh, how high is it it's 6962 meters high cool number three the smallest continent we're asking about the name of the continent so what is the smallest continent it's australia right and how big is it because we have square kilometers here right square kilometers so how big is it how big is it it's almost 7.7 .7 million square kilometers easy number four the widest canyon in the world so we're asking how wide is something and what is the name what's the widest canyon in the world it's grand canyon and how wide is it it's 29 kilometers wide at the end. Very good. Number five. What is the deepest lake in the world? It's Lake Baikal. I hope I pronounced it correctly. Lake Baikal. And so when, when we're talking about a lake, we say how deep, right? The deepest. How deep is Lake Baikal or how uh, deep is it? 1741 meters deep and what is the coldest place in the world it's antarctica and uh, the next question so it's minus minus 89 so we say how cold is it it's minus 89.6 degrees celsius see for kilometers we use uh, we use long at the end for meters, we use uh, high at the end for square kilometers, so that's okay. For 29 kilometers, uh, we use wide, 1741 meters deep, and for Celsius, so this is the temperature, it's okay, you, you write whatever degrees Celsius. I hope you got it. Let's go to the listening section. What do you know? Again, we have a quiz here. Like, take the quiz below circle A, B, or C and guess the answers to the questions. First, take some time, pause the video, and try to complete number one to number six. Right? For example, the, world, uh, the world's tallest trees grow in Japan, Brazil, or the United States. You can pick one. For example, the first one is uh, like uh, the tallest trees grow in, I think, the United States. Right? The United States. And uh, how, how tall are they, the, the trees? We can say that they're 113 meters tall. 
113 meters tall, right? Okay, now take some time. This is the United States, okay. Uh, take your time, do the quiz and try to answer. And after that, so you come back, so we go to the listening and we will listen to the quiz. Let's do it. Page 25. 3. Listening. What do you know? B. Listen to the quiz show. Were your guesses correct? Write the correct answers above. Welcome to What Do You Know? Our first player is Maria Lopez from San Juan, Puerto Rico. Welcome, Maria. Thank you. All right. So, Maria, what topic do you want to start with? Natural wonders, please. Natural wonders it is. Okay. Here's question number one. What country has the world's tallest trees? Um, it's the United States. Correct. The world's tallest trees are California redwoods in the United States. The tallest redwoods are about 370 feet tall, which is about 113 meters. Good job, Maria. Now, here's the next question. What's the highest lake in the world? I think it's Lake Titicaca, isn't it? That's right. Lake Titicaca in Peru is the highest lake. It's 3,812 meters above sea level. Here's question three. What's the longest mountain range? Mountain range? Yes, a mountain range. A group of mountains. Um, the Andes? Right again. The Andes in South America are about 7,600 kilometers long. Okay, next question. What is the world's largest archipelago? An archipelago is a group of islands, right? That's right. Oh, I think, um, it's the Philippines. No, wait. It's Indonesia. Correct. Indonesia is the world's largest archipelago. It has about 13,000 islands. Question 5. What country has the deepest canyon? That's easy. It's the Grand Canyon in the United States. Oh, sorry. The deepest canyon in the world is in Tibet. It's the Grand Canyon of Yarlung Tsangpo. It's over 5,000 meters deep. That's about 16,400 feet. Okay, now the final question. You need a correct answer to stay in the game. Where is the world's smallest volcano? Okay, well, I think the world's smallest active volcano is in the Philippines. But there's a smaller volcano in Puebla, in Mexico. It's not active, but it is a volcano. So I'm going to say Mexico. It is in Mexico. And it's only 13 meters or 43 feet high. Congratulations, Maria. You answered five out of six questions correctly. Let's go on to the next topic. All right, so... Let's do number two, is the highest lake in the world? Very good, this is late Titicaca B. And how high is it? It's uh, 3,812 meters high. Cool. I just write M for meters. Cool. Number three, the longest mountain range is in very good, Andes. And how long is it? It's uh, 7,600. 7,600 kilometers long. I write KM for kilometers. 
And the world's largest archipelago is in Indonesia. Very good. And how many islands does it have? It has 13,000 islands. 13,000 islands. Good. Number five, the world's deepest canyon is in Tibet. Very good. Tibet. And how deep it, it is? How deep is it? It's 5,000 meters deep. And the last one, the world's smallest volcano is, is in Mexico. Uh, sorry. And how high is it? It's 13 meters high. 13 meters high. Okay. Good. This is the end of this uh, lesson. See you in lesson C. Goodbye.